The head of the Mississippi NAACP is speaking out about the national outrage over Floyd's killing. Corey Wiggins says days of protests in cities around the country and in Jackson are wake up calls to the nation. It's a collective outrage of systemic racism and discrimination that is baked into systems and institutions across this country and in this, and in this state uh, that have limited opportunity, that have played out through police uh, brutality, the over-criminalization or over-policing in African-American communities. Uh, and I think what you're seeing is, is people are saying that they had enough uh, and things have to change, they must change. Wiggins says he believes Republican Democrats have to come together to overhaul policies in Mississippi and in the country if we're ever going to treat to true equality for all. Members of the Mississippi National Guard are in the nation's capital tonight helping protect monuments and keep protesters safe. 16 WAPT's Ross Adams found out how long they may be there. Mississippi National Guard troops are in Washington, D.C. to help keep the peace after days of violence and unrest in the wake of the George Floyd killing. When the commander put out the word to the citizen soldiers, he says they were eager to volunteer. I need 150 volunteers. Well, I got 400. And that should send a signal to everyone in Mississippi that uh, we have people who put this uniform on every day that uh, want to participate, they want to respond to the call. Guard members will be on the streets of Washington, D.C. for the next few days. We're, we're sort of preventing access to certain areas of the city, maybe businesses that they're trying to protect. Major General Jansen Boyle says troops will also support law enforcement, similar to what they've done on recent missions in the Middle East, including Afghanistan and Iraq. Uh, the goal is to provide for a safe, secure environment. Uh, what's different with this mission is we're protecting the First Amendment. Uh, we're protecting uh, uh, the population's right to protest. Uh, we want to make sure that they have that right to do that. Mississippi Guardsmen in the nation's capital will be unarmed. Their mission is expected to last through the weekend. Reporting from Jackson, Ross Adams, 16 WAPT News. The Jackson Public School Superintendent is speaking about the death of George Floyd and the protests that are happening worldwide. Dr. Eric Green says he is saddened by the lives lost to police brutality. He says this loss is traumatic as the country continues to deal with COVID-19. He says he hopes the nation will find harmony and greater understanding during this crisis. What occurs to me is that I have an awesome opportunity and responsibility as the superintendent of Jackson Public Schools to protect and prepare our scholars to create the world that we all long for. Now, Green says his goal in making this statement is not to incite or divide, simply to name today's condition and invite everyone to work towards a better tomorrow. Several people gathered at the state capitol today to pray for change. Mission Mississippi organized the event, bringing people together to pray for leaders and racial harmony. So I believe that God is here among us right now, and we are going before him in this event to ask him for that peace, for that hope, for that example, that opportunity to lead by example, and to remember that we are all children of the Almighty. We would open our hearts and minds. The U.S. Attorney General for the Southern District of Mississippi was also at today's prayer march. Members of the Mississippi Legislative Black Caucus standing in solidarity against the death of George Floyd. The MLBC speaking out in response to the killing of Floyd and other men and women at the hands of law enforcement. They say they're calling for legislative action to address the issues. We're going to overcome it. Uh, it may take some time to do it. We cannot on racism continue to stumble into the future backward. Mississippi can be made an oasis if the three million of us work together. Black caucus members say they believe Floyd's case is one of many others that have taken place right here in our community. Tomorrow in Vicksburg, protesters will gather for a peaceful march. It's expected to start at the police station and end at Market Place. Community members and city leaders, as well as the NAACP, are organizing and sponsoring the march. Recognize the fact that what happened in Minnesota is indispensable. And as Dr. Martin Luther King said a long time ago, uh, injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. 
Now it's important to organizers that everyone at this protest stays safe because of no COVID-19. They're asking people to wear masks. They'll have some to provide if you need one. Hand sanitizer will be available and people will be asked to stay socially distant. The march will begin at the police station at three tomorrow. <laughs>